This is such a like makeup guru fantasy of mine. Hi, I'm Barbie Ferreira, and I'm gonna teach you how to do a colorful, bold eyeliner look. First things first, skincare, always. Pop some toner on. We're gonna moisturize. Give it a little gentle left tap. I've been told that I'm very rough on my skin and I should stop doing that immediately. So I just, when I apply moisturizer, I now tap. Don't you forget that neck. Don't you forget it. I'm gonna prime my under eye. How about that? I like to use primer when I know I have to have the makeup on for a while because it kind of just blurs and creates just a canvas for concealer, contour, blush, all the good stuff. I have little creases in there. Gotta get those bad boys all filled up. I would wear this look to literally anywhere. I have woken up and put on a colorful eyeliner and just gone to Whole Foods, so let's do it. The rookie mistake is doing your skin first and then a complicated eye and then you just start crying and taking it off five times. Start with your eye. So for eyeshadow, I just like big brush, swoop it all up, make it really natural and kind of up to the brow. And we're gonna start with the eyeliner, so wish me luck. I'm gonna go in with a cream eyeshadow first on the inner corner and we're gonna kind of create an ombre to a black. And I like to use yellow as opposed to like a white or like a beige. It just makes it brighter and like the color sticks to it. Okay. That's a dolphin mating call, if I ever heard one. I learned to do this while playing around with my own makeup. And I was like, what if I just did kind of like a little ombre moment? What would happen? And it came out pretty good. I ended up not doing anything that day, so all I did was take some pictures and stay at home with my cats. We're gonna go in with an orange today. I'm pressing it on top of the yellow, very carefully. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm using a gel eyeliner right now. You wanna just kind of draft where you wanna do the eyeliner and then go in with the liquid liner. I don't know. And I'm gonna go in with the orange and kind of layer it so that it's a little bit more diffused. My dream is always to be a makeup artist. It was like actor first, second makeup artist. I also like doing like special effects makeup, how to make like spirit gum look like scars and all that stuff. Now I'm gonna do an actual liquid liner that is pretty dark to just do the ends. When I'm looking for inspiration, I just go on either like Tumblr or Pinterest. Madonna has really great looks. Uh, Drew Barrymore, 90s, early 2000s, Rose McGowan. I look those like amazing women up and then I find the things I want. Pointed Q-tips. Oh my God, what did I do before it? This will change your life. We're gonna do a little yellow on the inside so then it can actually be a little bit of an ombre. And then we're gonna go in with the yellow eyeshadow on top. Always gotta lock it in. And then pretty much for like the last step of the eye, I'm going to just make sure that the orange is still bright and happening. And if I didn't have lashes, I'd be putting on mascara. We're gonna do skin. I'm gonna start off with foundation, which I think is pretty optional. I do not wear foundation every day. Do a couple pumps. Beauty blender. Bounce, 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 bounce. I bounce it on my hand because I don't like to put a lot of product on my face. I just want it to be even. We shall see. Okay, we're gonna go in with concealer with the beauty blender. Usually I use it with my fingers, but when I have foundation on, I like to use my beauty blender. I do a little bit on the outsides of my nose, a little bit under the eye, and then of course on like any blemishes. Let's see where they at today. We're gonna go in with contour, and I use a stick one. Again, I blot it on my hand because I don't want too much. I press it in. We want the cheekbone out. And then I just go up. And this just makes you have like a, a sickening jawline. I like a cream blush a lot. I think it makes my skin look really like alive. I like just putting it all over my cheek. And I just pat it. Highlight. We love highlight here. I'm gonna put it right here, right on my cheekbone. And then what I like to do is create like a little orb. Do a little here. As soon as I put on highlight, I just talk like this. I think makeup is like a big part of even like my job, you know? I was modeling and now that I'm on Euphoria where makeup is such a, a, a vessel of communicating how the characters are feeling and their, their personal style. It's almost like a costume, which I also like costumes. So it just makes me feel a different mood. I have extremely thick eyebrows, so we're just gonna we're just gonna brush it. We're not gonna add anything to my brow. Also, sometimes I get like foundation on my brow, so brushing it out is good. 
Sometimes I like to use a little tissue to wipe it off. Or lazy. I'm just gonna do this. My favorite way to do a lip is to put a lipstick or um, a stain, and then with my fingers, like kind of diffuse it. I don't really like a harsh line with my lips. Just like a kissed look. Lip gloss. Ooh, we did it. We nailed it. Thank you guys for helping me. <laughs> to watch more Vogue videos, subscribe here.